Welcome back. The time is 6.43. Daybreak is all local all morning. And every Saturday, we like to highlight a local company uh, with our partners at Indiana Grown. Carolyn Estelle and Josh Emery, thank you so much for joining us. Tell me a little bit. We were just talking about this before the break. Tell me where you get your name from. So we're, our, we are Stobo Farm. Um, the property that we purchased in 2019 um, is a former post office. And we discovered this just happening to look at an old map that they had posted downtown um, in Bloomington, Indiana. And so we just thought it natural that, well, that's the, the previous property's name, so let's just kind of keep it for the business. Yes, Tell exactly. us a little bit about your business. How'd you get started? So we got started uh, initially kind of small um, until we got a couple of grants to build a high tunnel so we could grow year round. So we started with just Nashville uh, Farmer's Market, and now we do three a week and sell to for restaurants and at the farm. Now, Josh, by trade, you are um, a chef or you've worked in restaurants? I ran restaurants for about 20 years, wow. so I bought a lot of the same food, but we went on the other side of it. What made you make the switch? What made you say, okay, we can go local with this. We can grow it ourselves. Well, I just didn't think there was enough options locally to buy. Even restaurants that wanted to buy local had a really hard time sourcing it. I mm -hmm. thought we could fill a gap that was needed. Yes, so tell us um, what food we have here. Okay, so all of this is grown in our high tunnel on, um, on our farm, and so we just brought a few things that we have weekly, kind of currently. Um, we have some kale, we have some of our leaf lettuce here, we have a couple different varieties, um, and then we have some of our purple bok choy, and hiding in the back here is a bunch of radishes. And potatoes, um, we try to grow some storage vegetables so that we'll be able to have those kind of yes. throughout the early. So potatoes, we did not bring our squash because they're giant, <laughs> um, and garlic and, and things along those lines. And then we also offer a variety of jams you cannot find in a store. So Tell some more, unique flavors kinds? that yes. we have. So we try to source as many of our the fruit um, from our property, but obviously we can't grow it all all the time. And sometimes, you know, sure. things... Things don't go well, but um, today I brought a couple, three different varieties that we have currently, and it's the vanilla cardamom pear jam. Um, we also do a line of bourbon jams. Um, so I have some peach bourbon, and then um, I have some chipotle black currant. So Ooh. we typically will have like a bourbon jam, usually we'll have a balsamic jam, which I didn't bring today, uh, and then usually something that has a little bit of spice, but not too much. Now tell us, where can we buy the products? Where, where can we go? So currently we are um, vending on Saturday mornings at the Win Bloomington Winter Farmers Market, which is at Switchyard Park in uh, Bloomington, Indiana. Um, we're there Saturdays from 9 to 12.30 weekly. Um, we're not there this morning, but that's okay. <laughs> we came here instead. And then during season, um, our farm stand is open all the time, and then we have uh, three farmers markets that we do, and that's the Columbus, Indiana Farmers Market. Okay. Um, we do the Nashville, which is on Saturday, and we do Nashville, Indiana on Sunday, and then we have been participating in the Woolery Farmers Market in Bloomington as well. Well, thank you for spreading the word because we <laughs> like good food, local food. And so we will make sure to get all of the information about where we can find your products on our website. That's wishtv.com. And you guys are going to stay around, right? We're going to talk yes. a little bit more later mm -hmm. in the broadcast. Mm -hmm. Love to have you. Thank you so much for joining us.